There are going to be some times in your life when you don't have people who can help you or coach you one-on-one, -on -one, person to person. So you have to figure out how to be that coach for yourself. Perfect. And that can be really difficult sometimes, especially when you're in like an area where you can't necessarily see yourself. But guess what? You can. What we're going to do today is go over a really cool way that you can go in depth on yourself and coaching and then also figure out how different that is from who you're trying to emulate. Okay, so step one, really simple. Find a space that you can record yourself and see from at least your feet all the way up to your head. You want to be able to see your entire body move so once you break it down, you have a pretty good idea of how everything's moving. Then after that, there should be like this infinite loop, this loop of action that goes like this. Record yourself doing something, rewatch it, watch it slow, take notes, and then record yourself doing it again with those implemented notes. And then guess what? With those implemented notes in that recording, you watch it again, and then you put it slow. And what you're doing is you're getting good quality reps and really mindful reps too. Things that you're thinking about, and then you can rewatch it, be your own coach, see how your body moves, see your little things that you're doing wrong instead of playing the oblivious game, never recording yourself, never knowing what you look like, and hoping that it's good enough. Once we do that, I'm gonna find somebody that I really admire. I am a big fan of Mayweather's jab, especially in this clip right here. Bing! So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try my best to look exactly like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna screen record this. If you don't know how to screen record something, just Google screen record. Don't ask me, I'm not your mother. You can figure it out. And then after I do that, I'm gonna put myself in a situation where the camera angle and myself and the bag are like directly related to how they have it in the video. Okay, so he's got like record a little bit to the left, bag right here, person right here. It kind of looks like this. And then what I'm gonna do from there is it's gonna make it really easy for me to look at both of them side by side and adjust them. Cause that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna have the screen recorded version over here. Then you're gonna have yourself doing the technique over here. And we'll talk about why that's important later. But for right now, I just need gloves. Okay, so when he throws this jab, what I'm noticing is that when he really puts power behind it, he's pushing and he's getting like a step step. Bang, bang. I know that much. So what'll happen is I'll record myself. And I'll try and do exactly what he's doing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this video, I'm gonna put it right next to his, and you should be able to do this in most software apps. Literally, you just take two different videos, you put them on top of each other, you make it so they are right next to each other, like I'm doing right here, and then you can watch them back at any speed you want. get a little more basic what you can do is literally just watch theirs slow it down and then go over to the next clip and then watch yours on your own it's totally fine to do it either way but if you want to get more complex more in-depth the splicing them together is gonna to be very important and here's an idea of how it works so I take the clip that I want I put it over top I stack the two videos ready I pull it up here bink then I'm gonna need this to fit so what I do is I make it a little bit smaller I crop it a bit I try and make sure that it looks as similar as possible. Then I'll make it a little bit bigger. If you want to get more in depth, you can have it so it punches at the exact same time. Uh, Mayweather's foot's a little bit lower, sorry, so I make it at the same time and then it plays. Bop, bop, they go next to each other. Really easy. As long as you can stack two different videos on top of each other, you can do this. So now that I did that and I watched it back, what I realized is that my body was really high. I wasn't really pushing off my legs because I don't have much bend here. So he's got a little more bend. He's, he's squatted down a little bit more. So now I'm going to run it back again and I'm going to try and make those adjustments from what I saw and I slowed down and I looked at the tiny little bitty details. Now I'm going to try and correct those details, re-record it, watch it back again and try and make those adjustments because that's what your coach is doing for you. He or she is looking at you and they're deciding what little bitty movements need to be changed in order to make your strikes more efficient. This is probably one of my favorite videos to watch of Mayweather. I mean, just it's such a stud. And what's happening as you do this is you're getting good 
quality repetitions with knowledgeable feedback. And you're giving it to yourself too. Nobody knows you better than you. So sometimes when you don't have an outside eye to look at you and have an opinion, you can be that for yourself by looking at yourself objectively next to someone that you know is way better than you. Having the presence of mind is very important to be able to be like, oh, okay, uh, that just was ugly. That didn't look good. And it can be fine, but you know that if you put yourself next to somebody who is a world-class athlete, and you see yourself next to them. It's the same thing that like happens when you watch a movie with a superhero in it and you're like, man, that guy's body's great. I'm sitting here eating popcorn. Like you have that same effect on yourself. I don't know about you guys. Every time I leave a movie theater that has like Chris Evans or Chris Hemsworth or Chris, or any, any of those Chris guys, is I walk out of the movie theater, I'm like, dude, I'm never eating popcorn again and I get to work. And it might be short term, but having that comparison is good. So now I'm gonna watch it back one more time and I'm gonna try and get my jabs the third time and try and make them as similar as I can. As long as you have battery on your phone and you have storage available, you should be taking the time to splice these different things together for you to keep practicing in a way that makes you better. And before you comment, yes, you should be getting actual coaching. There's always gonna be stuff that you miss, so do not take this as an opportunity to be like, hey yo, Seth said that I can just learn everything I need to online and I'll be, I'll be a UFC fighter. Not what I said. Online training I see is a great addition to your regular current training. <laughs> Lastly, I like to use an app called Coach's Eye. And what this does is it lets you break it down in slow motion, slow things down, and then most importantly for me, I like to be able to draw and put like an angle of motion or an angle of where the leg is. So if I know that the hand is coming from here to here, I draw a line, boom. So I can follow that. It gives me something I can look at. So if the other person's line looks like this and mine looks like that or like this, then I know that's a difference and I can see them side by side. Or for example, if my body is angled too far like this and I have that drawn right here and I know I need to pull it back, that's something that I can look at and see and have a visual representation and go, okay, this needs to go like this. Especially when you're working towards something, you can use that other person's lines and make your own lines yourself and work through that way. I think Coach's Eye is like $2.99 on the App Store. It's, it's worth it in my opinion, especially if you want to do something that's you by yourself trying to get better on a regular basis. I'll give you an inside look on how I like to use the Coach's Eye app. Uh, I like to use the circles a lot. First thing we're going to look at is the knees. Uh, a lot of Mayweather's jab concepts are very piston-like. Look at his arms, look at his knees. His knee actually comes in a little bit more than mine here, which is something I found that was interesting. Um, next, we're going to use this line here. We're going to look at the bodies. I'm putting my body a little bit more into it than he is. Uh, he is twisting more in place, which now I can see because of the knees, where I am pushing in towards the bag. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this line and look at our shoulders. I feel like my shoulders are okay here. Uh, then I'm going to use the circle. Ready? Let's take the circle. Three, two, one, bop. And I'm going to look at my foot. As I make contact with the bag, my back foot is up off the ground, which is no bueno, where Mayweather's is just sort of skimming the ground, if not still touching the ground a bit. So he is pushing off the back leg and then landing on the front, but his back foot is still making contact. Ready? Bink. And bink. Having these notes that you can see and kind of refer back to are awesome because just practicing isn't always going to be enough. When I played football in college, we woke up at 6 in the morning, we would watch film on a regular basis because that meant we were seeing ourselves and seeing the small details that we were missing out on. Every person who's high level at something takes time when they're not moving their body and adjusts their brain to figure out how they can make themselves better. Okay, so in case you didn't hear me the first time, step one, record yourself. Make sure that you can see different moving parts of your body so you can get a good analysis of it. Then you can put it in whatever format you watch it in, slow it down and look at the fine details. Step two, put it next to someone that you want to emulate and make it slow. If you're not sure how to get video of someone that you really enjoy, watch their video, Google how to screen record, screen record it, put it next to yours, and find like iMovie or something that you can put the two next to each other and play at the same time. Step three, if you want finer details, use something like the coach's eye to put key indicators of different body mechanics that you need, like different lines or different like circles on things to focus on so you can get a better idea of each thing. Detail is always key. All 
All right, guys, hopefully this teaches you something that you can use when you're not around a coach and something you can really fine-tune details with when you're at home. Pretty much stuff that you can do to get better in your free time. And always remember, it's very important, the most important part of this whole video, arguably, the piece of information that if you don't take away will negatively impact your training for the rest of your life. If you don't subscribe, I will kick you. Bang!